Wait a sec. Filmland and making an episode about filmmaking? Madness. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn and the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Now today is a quick tip video. It ain't flashy, pardon the pun. My God. But I've been asked this a bunch of times from you guys and it's a very important thing to cover. So let's check out a request. Nicholas Cranfield asked, could you do a tutorial on how to get the best sound quality as I'm using the same Rode mic as you, but I'm getting a static sound in it and I'd like to know how to get top notch sound, please. Well, yes we can, Nicholas. Now you guys may have heard this in your audio, that hissing or humming when you play back your videos, and hey, maybe you're recorded with the aircon running or your computer running in the room, and now you're just thinking, my God. Actually, I was gonna say, that sounds awful and I just want a way to fix it. Well, let's start off in Premiere Pro and figure it out. Okay guys, so here we are in Premiere Pro and I've got these clips in my timeline, one that's been cleaned up and the next cut that hasn't. So let's have a listen. Uh, that's probably just a mistake. Uh, that's probably just a mistake. Now, as you can hear, we've got some background noise there. You can really notice that change in audio quality when you make a cut between the shots. So how do we fix that? Well, it's pretty, pretty, pretty easy. We'll select the clip we want to clean up, right click and head up and click edit in Adobe Audition. This of course will open the clip in a waveform in Adobe Audition all ready for tweaking. Now if we look at the clip, you can see these dead spaces here between the actors speaking and that's where the noise is. If we just select that part, you can hear it right here. And believe it or not, that's a good thing. Having a flat spot of just noise allows us to do the next step easily. We'll just highlight the noise portion of the clip. You can then right click and select Capture Noise Print. You can then hit Ctrl A to select the entire clip. From there, you can either hit Ctrl Shift P or head up to Effects, Noise Reduction and select Noise Reduction. You can then head down here and have a play with the amount of noise reduction. But I do recommend that you don't push it above say 75% as you'll start to get a really tinny sometimes underwater garbled sound. In this circumstance, this preview button down here is definitely your friend. So as you're playing with that percentage, just keep clicking that preview button until you're happy with the result. And once you're happy with that noise reduction, hit apply and you'll see our waveform is now modified to reflect the reduction in our background noise. We'll now hit save, jump back to Premiere Pro, our audio will update and we can now have a listen. Oh, uh, that's probably just a mistake. Oh, uh, that's Probably just a mistake. Nice. Now guys, before I close this one out, I just want to hammer home the point that we're just reducing the amount of noise in the audio. We're not removing it completely, because if we try to remove it 100%, there's a good chance we'll damage the dialogue we recorded. Or worse, that the noise will kick back in when your actor speaks, and that'll sound unnatural and kinda awful. It's a fine line to walk, but that's why I keep it below that 75% reduction mark. That way it reduces it, but not at the expense of the dialogue. Add up all those steps and your audio goes from this, oh, that's probably just a mistake, uh, to this, oh, that's probably just a mistake. So guys, that's a quick tip on reducing noise in your audio. Like I said, it's not a big flashy episode, but it's something you do have to consider in your filmmaking. Wait a sec, film learn and making an episode about filmmaking? Madness. Well, don't fret, we'll be back to our effects laden fun soon enough as I'm working on something big that I alluded to on Twitter. Something I know we can all get excited about, and yes, it is Flash related, and it's also using Video Copilot's Saber plugin. But the downside to working on something big is that it takes time to do. So I'm gonna ask for your patience on this one, gang. And trust me when I say, it'll be worth it in the end. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. There's a subscribe button, up there's the social medias and whatnot, and don't forget you have less than 72 hours to get your entries in for the 30k film comp. You can click the card above or, or there for more info. And until next week, keep learning.